Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. We're gonna to be removing the boards out of this Sony unit behind me. It is a KDL-47W802A. Uh, it should be a pretty simple video here today, so uh, if you have any questions or need any help, you can give us a call at 1-800-203-7484, and let's get right into it. This is the back of the Sony unit. Uh, we are gonna be getting all of these screws out of here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, it's gonna be a little bit different with your model at home. There is gonna be a plate here, a plastic plate with one screw in it that is connected into this power supply board and that is gonna need to be the first thing that you remove. So you're gonna take this screw out, you're gonna pull the plate up and away from the back and then you're gonna reach in there and you're gonna unplug that plug from the power supply board which should allow you to then just pull the back up and away from the chassis. Um, there are uh, quite a few different kinds of screws here, so I would just keep them separate so you know what goes where. And uh, let's start pulling these out. Okay, I do believe that is it for the screws. So what we're then we're gonna do is lift up very gently, and there are two plastic pieces here that make perfect for lifting up and away. Should just come up, and we can get to the boards inside this unit. First up is the main board. So what we're gonna wanna start with is getting these small plastic pieces away and they just come slide right out. We can set them off to the side. Now we're gonna want to get these clips and plugs disconnected from the main board. This guy right here, we're gonna use our fingernail to depress that little latch, which then frees it up to be removed. Uh, this LVDS cable is gonna have two small plastic pieces, one on the left one on the right side that we're gonna to wanna to push down with two fingers as we pull the LVDS cable out. So we're gonna push those down and pull that cable right out of there. This will just slide straight out. This one's gonna have two clips on the right and left side that we're gonna to wanna to squeeze and it should just come right out from the board. And there we go. This one's gonna be another one with our, where we take our thumb, depress the small lever there to unlatch it. That should just come right out. We've got about six screws or so and this should come away from the chassis. And after our screws are removed, it feels like there is just a little bit of resistance which means that there's probably some adhesive underneath this board. Just wanna pop it up and there's that adhesive and that main board is away. Next, we are going to be removing the T-Con board, and you will see that it is covered with this, uh, this metal housing piece here, um, and there are a couple clips. There's two ribbon cable connections actually underneath this housing. We're gonna have to get that up and away first. But let's get this LVDS cable uh, removed. There's gonna be two buttons on either side that you wanna depress. Get a little bit better angle should come out no problems. Now we're gonna be using a finer tip screwdriver for these two screws here, uh, just so we don't damage them or strip them out while we're removing them. After those two screws are out, this piece should just lift up and away. There's not really anything else keeping this board down, so we're gonna to have to probably keep this in place with one finger, get our fingernail up underneath this flap and pop it up. Same thing over here. And then these ribbon cables should just slide right out. And that should be our T-Con board. It feels like there's a little bit of adhesive under there keeping it in place. And that's the T-Con board. And lastly here, we have the power supply board. Uh, there are just uh, about three clips here, here, and here that we need to get removed from the board before we can safely unscrew it and remove it. This guy right here, we're gonna push down on this latch with our thumbnail, slowly walk it away from the board, it comes right out. Both of these are gonna be the same style. There are little latches here. You can push down, and they just pop right out. Now that we've got those unplugged, we can remove the screws and this board should come away from the chassis. And after we take those screws out, we should just be able to lift this away, no problem. And that's the power supply board. And there we have it, another pretty easy board removal video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can give us a call at the number down below. You can comment down below, 
Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, you will qualify for 20% off your first order through TV Parts today, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.